people. So we're going to start the video right now. I'm going to tell you, this is a complete time capsule. Completely abandoned. And you'll be shocked how long it's been abandoned. Everything is completely left behind. I just can't wait to get on and show you this video. Hello explorers. So if you're new to the channel, thank you. And please hit that like and subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing. So exploring in this place is a beautiful time capsule, completely forgotten. The lady that grew up here, which you'll see a photo in a minute, when she was a little girl, has not stepped foot in this place since her mother got sick. I, re I believe it was around about 2012. This place is completely sat still and completely in time. And we know this because we bumped into the daughter straight after the explore. She was a little upset, but we explained to her that the doors were completely open. So I'm going to help this lady hopefully secure this place up to keep this time capsule completely safe. Hope you enjoy the video. Love you loads. So currently meant to be heading towards Norwich, but finally I've actually been stopped by the police there, as you can see, doing a vehicle check. Um, by the end of the day, they're doing their job, but I'm meant to be out exploring. That was a very interesting bit. Completely stopped me. Um, basically, they didn't believe that I was the owner of this car. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, so they wanted to do an identity check on me, but it obviously fully legal, fully insured and everything else. So still on route, just going to be running a bit later now, so it sucks, but there you go. Um, but yeah, I'm literally heading to a true, true time capsule, so um, yeah, I've got an hour and 35 minutes, uh, then I'm going to get there and I'm going to start this video, so love you all! Let's get on, let's get there and get this done. So yeah, we're exploring this uh, abandoned field. It's alright, isn't it? time capsule again just makes you wonder like how many of these places you keep finding in the UK look at this guys it's absolutely incredible already complete time capsule now I need to be quiet because there's neighbours in front and neighbours around the side as you can see it literally is completely overgrown We're not broken literally the front door is completely open Literally just coming straight through the front door, we're going to head straight out of the kitchen and then I'm going to start on the lower level and work our way up. But I feel like I'm going to sneeze at the minute, so I'm literally trying so hard to do this. Oh. <clears throat> so, anyway, look straight out in the kitchen. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to be cooking tonight in here, I don't know what we're going to do, but you can see like, how long this place has been abandoned for so so long. The extraction pipe straight from the oven is literally falling down. It's completely rotted away. And the floor, look at it. That's the cleanest bit in this kitchen is the actual cooker. So I'm going to try and find a little bit of history on this place, but just turning the camera around at the moment, you can see the amount of cobwebs decay in this place. Even the iron is literally set up like they were you know, like they didn't get to finish stuff. Like maybe they left in a hurry. And this sink. Wow. That is some serious decay. Look at that. And the spoons and the cups. It looks like they had their last like hot chocolate or something and it's completely gone rotted. Guys and girls, if you want something to eat, I'll knock you something out. Look at the milk here, the last bits of bottle is too used by December, October. There's no actual dates. Now, this jar of pickles, you know pickles last a long time, but this is 2014. A mixed pickle. That is incredible, look at it. 
I just can't get over the arm, look at it. You have to be so careful with this flooring because the hallway that I was walking through, the flooring is you moving. So yeah, there's so much stuff completely here. You can see that how things have, long things have been left, they're literally right away. Rotting. Oh. Look at all the pots. Just crazy to think. I mean, look at this. You would think we're literally in the UK with a housing crisis and stuff like this. Right, we're not even looking there. I'm gonna get out. So here they've got their own like pantry as well. <laughs> Loving the old toys and stuff. So this is a real Marvel, Marvel comic van. Is there a date on that? No. But that's really cool though, things like this. A Chevrolet. Too much. You know what? It's weird. It's weird. I don't know why all this stuff. It feels like they left in such a hurry. I don't know why. I just get that feeling in it. 2014. And that's most of the tins that I'm finding at the moment are literally all the same date. Tomato soup. Again, 214. It's like um, a delivery note here. Obviously, I'm not showing you addresses and that, but this is for 2008. And as I said, tins last a long time. Like some cereal. So like it's 2013. And there's a jar of 10 peas. <laughs> Quite new, they're a new coin as well. And then here you've got a jar of 5 peas. So there's names on here, Lucy as well. There's 20 piece. There's probably about, I don't know, 30 quid's worth of coins there. So I'm surprised. It's still all here. There's a bag of pennies. Is that one is? 80 pence. And the old Twix jar, I love this. Love these old type tins. Oh, look at the dandelion burdock bottle. Again, there's so many that have kept all their seats. And the last, it's 2012. They've kept all the receipts. Again, here's another one, 2011. This is all their shopping list. They've kept literally every one. I'm not finding nothing which would make sense if it's 2012. Then the tins are 214. There you go. It kind of gives us a date of like, oh. see I'm not even going to go right down here and you can tell the literally the basement floor is completely flooded. I mean that's about a foot and a half of water. I can't believe we're literally under the house and it looks like this. So why right, it's literally um, completely rotten. Look at the old security device. All the jackets, everything's still here, hanging up. Imagine they come straight through the front door, hung the coat up, possibly straight in the kitchen. Look, another bit. All the flooring's completely going. Oh, guys, look at this. Guys and girls. 
what a beautiful room and everything's still here literally everything is still here loving the kiddies pram and some of the old uh, VHS is there some classics Rocky Commando definitely an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan by the looks of it point break love a bit of a Patrick Swayze and this is a very classic good movie as well head to the job the old TV and just stand here look at the doorways and you find this in a lot of English homes like really old homes the way this, the doors are literally just cut to shape and it makes you think well why can't they put them straight but so it looks like, like occasion stuff in there like all crackers and stuff the fireplace you think these are all their things they've collected all over the years and then just to sit in there and complete it right away <laughs> the old pencil sharpener That's a beautiful radio. Look at that. And then the, uh, you chuck your uh, records on there. It's a shame really, it's sitting in here and it's just gonna get damp and completely ruined. try and visualize the life of the people who lived here. You know, the people sitting here around the fire, the little radio going, maybe chuck a little old LP on. I'll tell you one thing, it's so cold in here as well. Like, really, really cold. Just gonna head to these, uh, there's like a ladder there as well. Just wanna be careful. Dawn. So I've a letter for you to my last one for you. I'm puzzled if you have any way I'm sure someone would let me know. I mean, this was 1996. Thank you, should. Showing glucose results in my test. Sorry, I've lost two and a half stone. It looked very well. From Dave, <laughs> from me. How strange is that? <laughs> so yeah, we've got to be careful. I have to be careful with letters and that, guys, because obviously addresses and stuff, and we don't want to get these places out. We don't want to get them wrecked. Another bit there. And look at this. All the coins and stuff. I mean, it's probably. It feels like, like pound coins in there as well. Probably old school ones now. Very good quality items in there, even up to the cups. And... and this is when the uh, pictures used to be cool when you never knew what you took. You take all your photos, you take it in, get it developed, <laughs> and then you wait until they come through. Little picture there of a baby. New arrival. There's no date on that at all. So much stuff in here. You can feel just the quality of this, like the furniture as well. Oh, look at the old bear. Oh, he's cool. Very, very old. I always feel like teddy bears as well. It's like a purpose. It's just quite a lot of stuff in here. It feels like a hoarder kind of person. You know, didn't want to chuck anything out. <laughs> that brings back some memories, doesn't it? State of that. T-Mobile. Let's put it back. So cool. Little boat. It's actually a light as well. So I'm just wondering what kind of lampshade would have been on there. 
there, the picture rails. Again, a lot of this, it's quite common in the English homes. And this wallpaper. Who's the tallest? <laughs> That's a pretty cool picture. Now, even looking here, like a lot of the old, like, newspapers, 2010. So cool. And the typewriter. Makes you wonder like what the stories or what this has typed over the years. Wow. Ladies and gents, this is definitely a hoarder's house. I'm literally having to climb through just to show you this room. And that's quite common as well. When they're not using the room, they just put the um, sheet over the fireplace to keep the heat in. I just have to be so careful where we're stepping. Oh, look at the old LPs and the one speaker. So obviously this person had asthma. I think this is like a steroid, this one. Ragamuffin man. Something keeps calling me back. Good vibrations. I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually recognise any of these. Now I must go. The swinging blue jeans. Uh, when I was thinking blue jeans, I thought of Neil Diamond then, but long time blues. This is a Warner Bros. record. Warner Bros. Queen. I've sung Land of Hope and Glory. Again, look very like, I don't know, I'm going with like 60s, 70s decor with this. Oh, look at again the old bear. Oh, he's so old. Actually, I've not actually come across a bear yet with a label on it to kind of give me an actual date. Does anyone want to have a guess? Put in the link below, let me know. And you're going to stay in there, Mr. Bear. We've got another one there. Oh, this one's actually got a label on it. <laughs> and this says, Oh, Mother Care. <laughs> I remember Mother Care. There's no date on him. Oh, yes. No. Nope. Made in England. There you go, mate. <laughs> Let's sit in with his mate. Look at the cobwebs. It's such a weird room. Oh, so already I've just literally found a picture. Oh, this is possibly like the family that lived here. Because this must be like generations that have lived here. It's a cool place though. Just so worried about the floor at the minute because you can't see properly what you're walking on. Look at the piano. There's like a, a Schumann, London manufacturer. It looks like maybe one of the old grandchildren, but that looks a very old picture as well. So this girl's probably like, I mean, I'm gonna go with maybe early 80s, this picture. It looks very old looking. Look at this silver jubilee. Little horses have fallen off. You think oh, Prince Philip's gone now? That's cool. Let's put it round that way. Lady Diana, another one gone. You can see, like, just the moot, the, uh, the patches underneath them. They're not moved in so long. Loving the old football. Wembley professional. Ah, oh, look. Oh. So again, I'll 
we don't go through letters and stuff because we kind of not want to give away where we are. <laughs> Do you know what? I just in this tin, I had to open it. But I recognise like quite a few of these, like Henry. Like some of these really old badges. Nick Clark's, RSPCA. So all like to do with the animals, like help. The Great Rail Club. Very retro. I'm just gonna fit that back in there. But it's so cool though to see it. This stuff's still back there. Another TV. That models that have never been completed. And you can see that as mice dropping, rat droppings. Should even have the gloves in really. Oh. This was something when I was little, I remember stuff like this, where you'd collect loads and loads of tokens and send off and get your little shreddy wheat radio. <laughs> Can't believe just how much stuff is literally left behind. I'm literally talking everything that's still here. I'll turn my light off a set, but work when you go near the windows. Look at all these cobwebs. I'm going to take the steps. And I'm not going to lie, I've been up here already, and I was actually really, really terrified of the cloth bedroom. And you'll see when I'm here, when I spin it around in a minute, I actually thought someone was in there. Three, two, one. No, it's not creaking. But yeah. Oh, wow. The guys and girls literally look at their ceiling. It's literally falling down. This place is completely crumbling. Look, you can see the way it's cracked all the way along, all through the ceiling. I just feel like standing now and like the ceiling's gonna come down on me at any minute. I'm not even kidding, like it's how it feels in here. The whole flooring, the roof, everything's coming down. Oh, look at that. That is a very, very old doll. Like, I'm not actually saying the name of these, but um, it looks pretty cool though and old. Look at everything here. Look at the old fashioned camera. That is incredible. And it's cases here as well, but it looks at it, yeah. You can see the dust in this place. Is it like a really old Kodak's camera? This is a really old brownie camera. Made in England by Kodak. Oh, look at the pictures, look. I love the old outfits in these pictures. And here. And I think this is in England. Like a necklace is still there. And look at this, 20 and a half P. <laughs> oh wow, look. It's that faded. I feel like an archaeologist. When you're literally dipping through stuff and you trying to find a story of the people that lived here and Walt Disney, water babies. I let the book. It's completely lost in its binder right away. There's so many little bears and teddies in here and you know like 
maybe the children that grew up here, all their little toys. So I'm going to put her in the bed. There we go. Look at her ladies' hats here. The amount of dust. And silly me guys today, I haven't brought no mask with me today. What's this? Well day for lo <laughs> Okay. The World Day for Laboratory Animals. So these people are very like definitely like they're yeah, national anti it's definitely like protesting. Love their animals. I totally agree with it as well. bed, everything's still laid out. God. It's a really weird layout, this place. Oh, so I mean guys, literally everywhere I step, it's like a hazard. And the floor in here, you can see it's completely bowed up. Do you know, little things like this I love. The old type step ladder, the way it folds in, becomes a stall. Room. Look at the artist thing there, the weasel, is it weasel? Weas oh, sorry if I've got that completely wrong. I'm loving the old child's wheelbarrow, look. Oh, you can't even see it. How beautiful is that? Do you know, I'd love to have that for my daughter. But it's so sad when you have to leave so many things behind. But you know what? That makes me a better person. And then when I see people come to these places, completely trash them. This is why I try and keep everywhere completely secret. Every window is completely attacking by dust and the weather vane. All kind of weathery thing. That's <sighs> wallpapers are falling down. <sighs> Be careful with this step now. breaking any more knees. Oh, the blanket's still resting. I'm amazed by this, really am. Coming out of door number one. I oh, look, the black and white photos. The little car model, the Mercedes. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, look at the bush. Plant completely dead. I'm gonna turn the light for a second, show you. But look outside the front garden. You can't you literally just about get to the gate there. And the really bizarre thing, it sounds like the electric is literally still on. <sighs> this is the room I was talking about. I feel really creeped out. I will be on this blanket. Oh wow. These bring so many memories to me. It's like they were doing a boot sales and they were selling everything, like 40 pence. Again. So many toys that obviously I grew up and remember playing with. The British Airways. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video as well, check out my other video. I actually went into the British Airways training facility. So cool. Loving these old cars. Just trying to see some dates on them. This one's 1973. Already 48 years old. 1975. Oh, and he's called Good Gold. <laughs> Very cringy, I know, sorry. I had to do that. But. Everything's still here. A whole jewelry box is still here. Oh, what is that? I'm loving this little brooch. Like it's an old aircraft. Oh, 
Makes you wonder what to lock it if there's anything inside. I need to open this, have a look. Alright, so I've managed to open it, but there's nothing in that. I don't know where she went. Obviously the little dancing, it's not in there. Wham! Fleetwood Max. And he's like rotating. Why do you to just keep everything in little pots and stuff? But even the bedroom, look how cluttered it is. You can see just how cluttered it is. Stuff literally everywhere. Oh, I love this, look at the little hedge on, all the little pen holders. Oops. Haha, <laughs> they're marbles. These definitely bring back so many memories for me. I used to sit on the drain cover for hours before mobile phones. This was your entertainment, it's what you'd play with. I don't know what that kind of bag is, but. As a lot of people have said in my videos before, it's like the time of the witch hour. 3 a.m. 3 o'clock. <sighs> Stuff like this really upsets me when you see just but it's obviously just falling down on its own. It's a huge cupboard, it's like built-in cupboards. That Shakespeare tea tin. It's a beautiful place. I just noticed on the way, like I was heading out of here, definitely a Mel Gibson fan. I'm trying to tell from some of the movies. This looks like maybe um, Patriot, Bird on a Wire. Ah, oh, actually, this is um, ah, oh. oh god, I'm gonna hit me when I go out here. I'm gonna know this is ah. Uh, so they're a fan of this guy as well, I'm trying to think his name. Right, put in the link below. I'm going to kick myself when I see it as well. Look at Mel Gibson here. Love this film, Forever Young. If you've not seen it, check it out, it's a good movie. Head back out. And you see how old these stairs are as well, they've got the old carpet rails. So, literally, we're in the attic. And do you know what, it's actually the warmest room. Oh wow. Look at the child's cotton, bram. Do you know what? One thing straight away in the back of my throat. I can taste the dust and straight away. Wow, look at this. So many old toys are still in there as well. A little sausage dog. A little elephant. <laughs> Actually cool. Love the old sausage dog. Oh my days. Look at this. A dart. Is this Raleigh or do they make this or? Yeah, Raleigh dart. There you go. And look at this pram. A little doll still sat there, cobwebs just resting on her head. And there's a sheet of it just running around near my head. So many toys there, look. Pram again. Oh, you don't want to go through everything, but you could literally spend all day in these places. Just and look at the old railway track. It just says to me that there's probably old trains in here somewhere as well. How cool is that? Christmas tree. <laughs> Who's hanging on the lamp they've stuck on there? There's old Wham, George Michael. Not really my thing, but yeah, it's cool. I'm just coming in there, I don't know. The last toy room. It's incredible. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and so, so sorry for the complete disruption of this video and the sudden ending. We had a shock. We looked into this place and we could see that it was completely vacant. No one lived there, but 
We were inside, we heard a hello outside, we looked outside and respect as we are, respectful we are, we left the property straight away to see what was going on. The lady in the blue there was actually the daughter uh, of the lady that owned this house. And she was the little girl in the photo at the beginning of this video. This couple here were very, very concerned of our safety more than anything in this place. And what she explained to us was her mother got very, very sick and was unable to live there. But also because of the electrics, they, they, they even said the electrician would not go into this place a few years back because of how dangerous this place really is. Now, the basement's completely flooded. The flooring is completely going everywhere. The ceilings are coming down. This place is so, so condemned. It's, it's, it's seriously dangerous. Um, what we explained to the people is what we do. Um, they were very, very trusted. As you can see, she did get very emotional in this clip right now here. Um, but as I said, we just couldn't apologize anymore. We said, you're welcome to call the police. Well, you're welcome to check our bags. We've got nothing to hide. This is who I am. This is my channel. This is where I'm from. I even said that I would help secure this place to keep it safe. And they were very, very happy with this. So hopefully I get a call and uh, they want me to go up and secure it. Um, but also she was very, very shocked of how easy access was to this place. Um, but she hasn't stepped foot in it since her mother stopped obviously was wasn't there anymore so which was around 2012 so that's a long time um but yeah we we just unaware and this happens sometimes we explore these abandoned places and there is still relatives to these places that we didn't know about it's just sometimes when you look into the history on a place you find out as much as you can um and they basically there's no no tires but then when you go there one in maybe 15 there's been a tie of some kind of source of family if it's under like a, a law thing or it's changing owners or it's been inherited by someone it's took longer than it has so this does happen but anyway we as i said we were very very respectful um and we couldn't be any more sorry than what we could but guys just want to say love you all and thanks so so much to all our patreons to everyone who supports awe love you from the bottom of my heart even the guys and girls that watch just our content, you don't have to donate absolutely anything to us, so we don't expect nothing. But just use being there and leaving a comment and a like means more than you can imagine. Thank you so, so much. If you think people love our content, please, please share what we do and show more people. But And just a message to any other explorers who find these places, please, guys and girls, leave them exactly how you found them. Love you loads, stay safe, and I'll see you soon on the next adventure. So, respect, um, we actually bumped into a lady that belonged to her mother, and she became sick, and yeah, the house completely just become abandoned. Um, she hasn't stepped foot in there for so many years, so it's kind of, I don't know, it's quite sad when you actually talk to them.